Hello everyone, I'm Crumbs and welcome back to another episode of This War of Mine. We were just at the Shell School and we had to flee because, uh, <clears throat> yeah, there was some evil man there. Uh, it seems that Irina is starting to feel a bit unwell. You go neat, you go and add some fuel there, you are slightly sick, well, nothing to worry about. And you can make some water filters. And so can you. Well, you, you're not making water filters, you're making water, right? Collecting clean water. So, you will eat and we send you to bed. Yeah, I, I don't think we're gonna go uh, go back to uh, to the school there. We will leave them alone for a while. We will send Erica to bed after she has eaten. Done. I think we need to make some fertilizer, but we have to wait until the veggies are done. So what do we have? We have almost broken shovel axe and crowbar so let's uh, let's make some new ones while we wait for the clock to be around 11 and see if there is an event today otherwise we will head out and decide what to do let's see if something has happened we are led to believe that international peacekeepers are going to put an end to the civil war in Grasnavia <laughs> in the upcoming days. Alright. Yeah, nothing new there. Upcoming days should be nice and warm. Alright. So, let's make an axe. I'm sure crumbs wouldn't have killed anyone if there had been a way to avoid, no. But everyone is still content. Which means, yeah, we, we killed a few bandits there. Uh, at the school, but I'm not so sure it, yeah, well. They were uh, shady looking characters, so to speak, so. We kind of had to, well, we probably would have been able to slip through, but we did it anyway. So, let's add one fuel here, so we keep it nice and warm. And, well, maybe we got the time to add some more water filters as well. Because it doesn't look like there is an event happening today. So, maybe we can make some water filters just because we can. Then the veggies are done, so we could harvest them. And make some fertilizer. Yeah, why not? Let's make five. Well, we could have actually used uh, these instead. Well, it is what it is. All right, let's end the day and let's decide what to do. So we, we're going to use you. You will guard and could go here. Caution advised. 
brothel, all right. If you want to get laid for a can of meat, this is the place. Mothers will do some really kinky stuff to get food for the children. Fucking hell. Uh, it's a big building, well guarded by local thugs. They have plenty of goods and are eager to trade. All right, so let's go there and see if we can do some good. There might be some locked stuff there. Let's bring one saw blade. Let's bring three, maybe? Um, let's bring the old axe. And I don't think we need a shovel. But in case of things happening, I want a vest for protection. So there might be a trader lurking around here. Let's grab that and let's just have a quick look. No, no one there. There is this, some stairs here and there. Let's have a look. It's trash mostly. Among, among it lie a fashionable handbag torn as if someone had ripped it open. Not sparing any thought to a damaged zipper. A tiny framed photo of a young man and a pocket notebook. However, tossed these here wasn't their owner. Okay. That sounds strange. All right. We have a, something we can open down there. Uh, let's use this as our main stash. We'll just drop this off. Uh, we probably don't need that in the basement. So let's down there and we can see if we can collect that So I wonder if, uh, since there was local thugs that was here, maybe there are some women around here that doesn't really want to be here. Let's see if we can do some good. Let's shop this one up. Yeah, let's open this. We might need to escape and run for our lives. up here no all right let's see what we have here yeah there's a table that we probably can jump up that way I think I'm, I will check this out over here first because there is another table there which means we can jump over stuff here so let's cut this one down this might be the last thing that that axe will do before it breaks yeah All right let's grab what we can and then we head down and then we will do another round Before we head into the building. Okay, there's another basement there. Yeah. There is a lot of stuff there. We should definitely have a look there. But first, let's make one run and see if we can clear all the stuff here. this stuff as well. So let's grab it all and then we will 
Well, actually, we don't have a weapon now, so we definitely shouldn't get in trouble. But you never know what's inside the house. Let's bring those and we bring the best. So there should be a trader here. Is, are you the trader? What the? Did I leave the door open? All right. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, there is a lot of people in the basement. Am I allowed to go around here? This is our place. Leave. Okay. Don't try that again. Okay, let's see if we can uh, take another approach. And I guess we be need need to be silent. Yeah, I think I'll leave the goods for now. All oh, right, we probably need another soul blade to get in there. All right. Well, I, w I wonder what happens if we... Let's make a run and see what happens. We can probably run away. Will he come after us? Let's open here. I was told that I only had to dance. Are the people in here? Okay. Let's run. He's actually have a gun. Oh, what? Are you shooting the... Run. Are they shooting at the... Ladies? I wonder if she... Uh... Well, I think one of them escaped, right? Oh man, we have to go back and see what happened there. And we are a little bit injured. And we fought him off. Are you? Yeah, you're wounded. So go and grab some bandages before you go and eat. And you will go and eat, and I guess you are slightly sick. You can probably make some water filters, and so can you. All right, we never set that up, so we will need to add some more veggies. So I guess those people there were kind of bad people since it felt like they were locked in. I'm, I'm thinking if we have had that scenario before, I, I, I can't remember that, but we probably have because we played it a few times and probably forgot so you check the door uh, we have let's see yeah we have six fertilizer you're sleeping you're sleeping you're making veggies and let's have a chat with these guys Uh, come to see how you're doing. I would thank you for your help. It feels much safer to sleep in our own reinforced shelter. All right, we get some booze. Okay, thank you. Well, you can sit down. All right. Yeah, I think we're we're good. Let's end the day, and I think we should sleep. Sleep in since you are wounded anyway. So I'll let you sleep. You will guard the other sleep, and we will stay in, and then we will go back to the brothel 
when crumbs are uh, in better shape. The knight was calm. So, slightly wounded, much better. So, send you to eat. So you, and you are slightly sick. <laughs> you will take care of duties to produce water and keep the house warm. Well, you were tired, go to sleep. Well, we have the bandages. Let's uh, let's make sure that you are very healthy. When that is done, we can send you to bed. And you can act. Yeah, you can eat and grab some pills, and then we send you to bed. You can head down here and eat as well. Dude, mm, I'll send you to bed and we let Marin take care of the barter. And I'm not sure we actually <laughs> need anything. Yeah, let's make some cigarettes, maybe coffee. Do I need to cook the coffee? I thought they just use it upon themselves, but I'm not sure. Maybe we can, we have to use a stove for that. I've actually never tried that before. Uh, I don't think we need any, well, materials we do. We are almost out and we have 110 wood. We don't need that. So let's start by trading this. And what can we get rid of? I have a few pistols, two pistols and sugar. Grab that. We don't need the bullets, right? 183. We have five. We have actually have six automatic weapons. So how about trade some of these? Too damn impressive, right? We're done. Ah, uh, didn't you eat? All right, we need to give you some food. Ah, oh, we never brought the the casings there. We we have a whole bunch at uh, at the brothel. No, all right. I thought I let's do that. I will send you to sit and you eat, and then we we'll send you to bed. So let's see tomorrow if we can make some coffee. I uh, we should definitely have a look at that. Right, I think we we're done for today. Let's end it and then we head back. So you will scavenge, you will guard. We will go to the brothel, and we will bring. Should we bring two just in case? Uh, let's bring a couple of these. And axe, and we want this one. We take it a little bit carefully this time. So let's take the long way around and see if we can make it in without getting noticed.
right, there is someone here. Please don't come out here. So let's make some noise here and see if they will hear us. I hear something. All right, come up. If you have a weapon, I will take you down. You went that way? All right. Ah, oh, he went around. Uh, oh crap, I missed him. But he has a weapon, so let's see if we can. He's fighting back. Come on, let's take him. Okay, we got him. Did anyone hear us? He's the one that shot at us before. So now we have that. Let's see what you guys have here. Let's bring that. All right. So let's see what. Yeah, and now we are even more wounded. Holy crap! There is a lot of stuff here. Let's. I, I want to go down in the basement and see. Is there someone? All oh, right, someone is coming. Holy crap! Let's hide. Oh shit! Please hit him. Yeah, okay, good. Let's hide and see if there is someone else coming. No? Now let's see what you dropped. Lock from the inside. Do we have the trader here somewhere? Okay, someone is down there. Okay, there are two there. But you won't go away, so we're like, let's let's have a look down the basement to see if someone is there. Okay, you are out. So let's head around this way. Okay, who is firing? Okay, you were fired. Ah, oh, no, 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 run, 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 run. And we will definitely run to the exit. Before we get shot again, hopefully we can make it. Oh crap. Let's take him out. Can we shoot him? Uh, run to exit, run to exit. Run to exit, please. Run, 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 run. Holy crap, that was close. But we did it, we made it. That was so close. All right, but we let a and one. Well, we let another girl out there. So I think we still did pretty good, right? But I think you are like lethally wounded now, or uh, severely wounded. All right, let's go and get some bandages, and we will let you eat a little bit, and you will take care of the water filters. So, what do you say? I don't want to die. Please send one. Tend my wounds, please. Yep. Well, that bulletproof vest <laughs> saved our lives for sure. So, I think we will let you cook since you have slept. You 
will take some bandage and then you will eat. You wait a little bit. Go to sleep. You will eat and then yeah, you are tired, so we'll send you to bed. So, can we make some coffee here? No, it's only food. So I don't think you need you, you can like need to do any coffee. That should be made by itself, right? They just use it. So we can make 32 food. Let's do that. You can wait for that to be done, and you can make some more firewood while we wait. Well, we can actually take care of this as well. Right. Well, you can probably eat uh, canned food today, so we don't need to wait for that to be done. And let's make some of that. And we want you to eat as well. So eat some canned food and then you can continue to produce more. All right, we are done for the day. Let's end it. And I think we should stay in since you are severely wounded. So you sleep in bed, you will guard, you sleep in bed and we stay. And if, uh, okay, we have been Rated 11 ammo, feeling much better. So how much better? You are wounded. So go and take some meds. Or no, not meds, bandages. Right, you go to bed, you are patched up. So I'll let you eat and sleep. And we send you to bed. Eat and you will eat. Well, those are almost ready to be harvest, harvested. And since we don't have anything else to do, maybe we can make some more water filters. Yeah, we don't want to wait for this. So we will... Uh, let, let's add some more fuel here first, and then we uh, we call it a day. So, let's sleep in for one more day, one more night. And uh, hopefully we can... We, we, I don't want to send you over there wounded in case... Well, we know that there are some more evil things back there. Uh, it's the brothel. But we will stay. Day 57. Calm nights. So let's do another round. You can go and eat. You can add filters. How are you? Slightly wounded. Awesome. So slightly wounded. I will still send you to collect some bandages since 
We have plenty and the war is almost over. I can feel it. We set the limit to 60 days when we made this custom game. I'm not sure if it's plus or minus a few, but there might be. And when we listen to the radio, the peacekeeping uh, militia or the peacekeeping army was on their way. And it said within days, and that was like three or four days ago, so... I think the war will be over very soon. Well, veggies, you can go and sit, you will take care of those. And you will eat. And go to bed. Right, trader is here. Do we need anything? Maybe some of that. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna need more water filters, but why not? So what can we get rid of? Maybe some cigarettes. Well, since we are... Well, we don't need a medicine, but we might need bandages if uh, we will survive a few more days. So let's end the day. And we should go back to the brothel. You guard. Mm. Let's bring the lock picks. Um, we definitely need an axe. And a bulletproof vest. Do we need. Should I bring? Like, so we can just shoot them? Like we finished the game with a, like a massive shoot up. But we know for sure they are evil people there. All right, he's coming. So let's head up here. Hopefully we can hide. I wonder if he's coming. Okay, he's coming after us. Come on, it's time to hide. Let's prepare. I wonder which way he is coming. I will stay here for a little while. Okay, there is someone. There is someone. Okay, something is happening down there. I'm afraid they might see us there, so if I, let's make some noise and see if they hear us. Maybe I can actually shoot him from there. Let's hide. <laughs> yeah, they would have heard us in a way, 
So how many are coming? There is one. Let's see if we can take him out. That's one down. Then we hide. Okay, here is another one. I guard this area. So if I go, can I see you somewhere? Okay, we got him. There is something left there. Let's see if we can, if I run and hide here. Or is it nothing here? No, I guess not. All right. I guess we killed them. grab that one because that will disappear if we, uh, if we leave it. right now we are armed to the teeth so let's have a quick look around we see if uh, we haven't missed anything or missed anyone we'll definitely have a look in the basement there is a lot of stuff. Okay, so we can come down this way. We can jump down through the hole there as well. There is someone there. Who is this? Can I talk to you? Please stop. Okay. Well, if you're not going to do anything, I won't hurt you. Let's have a look in the basement again and see. If we can find anything. Well, what's here? All right, we have a lot of stuff here. Yeah, I don't know. Do we need anything else? I'm not sure. Could have go for uh, to make cigarettes, but no, we have enough cigarettes. Let's bring some bandages. I don't think we need the weapon parts and the broken gun, so let's bring food and some water. Yeah, let's let's head home. I I don't think we should waste any more time going through this. Oh, maybe we can use one of our lock picks and see what's here. Let's see even more. Uh, yep, yeah, we need some weapon parts if we're gonna repair something. Let's leave the lockpick and we grab the weapon parts. And we leave that for maybe next time if we come back or maybe we should say that this is last location we go to and we will just write it out write the war out day 58 someone tried to rob us we fought them off so let's go and eat and let's add some fuel there make some water Oh, you didn't eat. All right.
No, don't go away. No, no, no. We should eat. Alright, I don't know. Let's go and play something. So, <laughs> no one, like, said anything that we killed two people in cold blood. We just shot them. Yeah, well, let's use that. Alright, we are done for the day, the night, and we will stay in. So, sleep, 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 your guard, sleep. And we have day 59. And let's just eat and then we end the day and we see if we are done. No, 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 don't walk away. I want you to eat. Go and play something and you can go and eat. some guitar when you are sleeping let's end the day and uh, yeah let's do one more sleep everyone sleep in bed except you your guard stay day 60 yeah it, it was, I think it was a good thing that we didn't set it to 80 days because that would have been like another 20 days doing nothing because we, we don't really need to produce anything more. can go on play the guitar set another trap and you eat and it's 16 degrees maybe we should burn a little bit just in case Right, let's end the day. And the war is over. It was exactly 60 days. So we survived with all our people. We started with one person. And we were alone for, was it 8 to 10 days? And that was the tricky part. Uh, and uh, then when uh, we got the second person, so we had one home, it went quite easy and then when the well it was kind of tricky when during the winter but around day 30 when the winter was over it was not really challenging anymore it was just to walk in the park there should be like a custom game where you can have like always winter so you need to produce firewood and uh, all of that all the time but I don't think that setting is available if you don't hack the game or something. But I, I, I think we produced or, or did set up the most challenging game that we could. We could have rejected everyone that comes, so maybe we should, maybe we could see if we could have made it on just one person. 
or maybe if we after two people just said no to everyone else so we just uh, use two person one for defending our home and uh, one for running out and then we could probably set it to minimum amount of different locations as well so that the materials uh, will run out okay blood on our hands did we kill a civilian there I think they were armed. Crumbs murdered several people. Yeah, it was bad people, right? And ceasefire. Long with the ceasefire finally came into force, eventually putting an end to the fighting in Pogoran. Those who managed to survive the war in Grashnavia would never forget it. So after the war, Erika gave her father a symbolic funeral and kept his picture. Despite the horrors she witnessed, she managed to start a family and tried to be a better parent than her father had been. After the fighting ceased, Evgeny finally managed to return. When he related his ordeals to his sister, she forgave him instantly. Surviving the war, Marion set about finding the boy who once brightened his day. His efforts provided fuel, so he rebuilt his house and kept the action figure in the shop window. And one winter afternoon, the entrance bell rang and the familiar smile has once again filled Marion's workshop and his life with light. When the siege was lifted, Crumbs quickly took the opportunity to return home. The memories of what has transpired in Pogoran would change him forever. All right. So that was this scenario. We, uh, we could try out the stories if you would like me to. So please leave a comment uh, and tell me if you want me to play some more of this game. Otherwise, I will continue and playing. Right now, we are playing a new series of Surviving the Aftermath uh, at 200 percent difficulty, and it's really, really difficult. Um, it's similarities to this one. Uh, so, uh, but it, yeah, but it's more of a sort of a colony builder. But you should definitely check that out if you haven't. Uh, seen it uh, so there will be a link at the end page or the outro page on on this video to that new surviving the aftermath then we'll be playing some transport fever 2 there were coming big updates to that one and a lot of other new games so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so so you won't miss upcoming episodes thank you very very much for watching please come back for the next one bye bye